have a really great panel of innovators and entrepreneurs here to talk with you all today about uh, what they do and how we can make West Virginia an even better place for entrepreneurship and innovation. So the entrepreneurial spirit is all about being scrappy, right? Um, and sort of creating something out of nothing. And I think West Virginians have sort of made to do with nothing for so long that there's a great, uh, there's sort of a great structure and a great um, just pull it together and do it attitude. Right, and as opposed to sort of like larger markets or big cities, um, the people here actually want you to do really, really well, right? So there's almost this this uh, sort of medium-sized fish in a very small pond, right? Uh, if you go to somewhere else like Chicago or San Francisco, um, it's a lot harder, right? So it's harder to get that support. It was, believe it or not, harder seven years ago to talk about some of the opportunities in emerging industries. Uh, it, it put people off, it scared people, it threatened people, and they didn't quite know why, but they were, again, as we would say, kind of behind the scenes. So, I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm in it. <laughs> and then you're not from here, are you? So it was awesome to be able to say, no, I am from here. I grew up in South Charleston. Where in South Charleston? Right off Montrose. So there was no denying, and then it was an icebreaker. So the, the need the idea that it's sort of like the Wild West, it's blank slate, and, and um, undeniable need matched up with some cool skills that a lot of people hear about, that I think paved the way for the work that we're doing. We have a combination of incredibly good location, uh, so we're really close to a lot of big cities, but we also have the, um, the location to outdoor activities, and things that people of our generation like to do. And I don't know that there's another place in the country that can offer you being an hour and a half from DC and an hour and a half from Snowshoe uh, in the same breath. And uh, the infrastructure to get you to and from uh, New York, Boston, Philadelphia in a day or less drive. And I think that it really creates an opportunity for for us to, to create sort of a new kind of of professional, right? I mean, you can come here and, and you can run your business the way you want to do it and still live your life outside your house or your business the way you want to. And I think that's really exciting. In an older state demographically, even if you're not necessarily looking to start a new company, there's a lot of people who have their own company and are looking to mentor somebody to take the reins of the company Absolutely. and like, retire out. Over half of millennials want to start a business um, and want to start their own business. I think that speaks to the entrepreneurial spirit of our generation. I think we're also an impact generation. We are the generation that has been going abroad to solve problems. We have the internet at our fingertips, and thanks to technology, starting a business is cheaper and cheaper and cheaper every day.